Hi guys and welcome back to another vlog. Um, today is actually the day before mine and Snip's first ever competition. Um, we're going to do some dressage. I have not done dressage in years so it'll be very interesting. We are just doing a little intro. Um, I've put in for the prelim as well. Sorry, let me just grab the keys. So I have put in for the prelim as well but I was away working all last week so she's not really been worked that much and I haven't learnt the prelim so we're just going to do the intro tomorrow and I think that'll be a nice starter because her canter still needs quite a bit of work so I'm going to just do the intro and yeah but today is all about preparing for tomorrow so I'm going to bring Snip up in a minute and actually work her and run through our test for the final time. We're not really going to be working on the test, like you can't improve the day before, but we're just going to see how long it takes me to warm her up at home. So I've got an idea for tomorrow and um, just practice the test. Um, and then I'm going to have to give her a bath and a complete makeover because she is looking a bit messy at the minute. And I've also got Betsy to film. Um, and get ready for tomorrow so I'll show you my packing list and all of that fun stuff but first I need to get my boots and my hat out of here because um, we took Snip to a training session away from home um, the other day to practice and I left everything in here so oh, there's my test all nice and crumpled up and now our printer stopped working this morning so I cannot lose this. Uh, hat, hat, boots, whip. Oh, oh dear. So yeah, I'm going to go take these round to the stables now and go and fetch Snip up for our last little riding session. Before So today, because it's the day before my dressage test, I won't really be focusing too much on actually riding the test. We're actually going to mainly focus on Snippy's canter today. Um, so I obviously get on and start warming up. We do a lot of walk and I warm up, so I won't bore you with that. But I do a lot of lateral work because Snip kind of can be a little bit mouthy sometimes and can kind of hold on to the bit a bit. So we start by doing lateral. Um, just to move her off my leg and get her listening because she can get a little bit heavy in the bit otherwise and then it's onto a lot of circles and I'm actually practicing in my head what I'm going to be doing to warm her up at the show as well um, which will be a lot of small circles with her but anyway we got into our stride and she started working really nicely I'm trying to work out on a slightly longer rein because I tend to find sometimes I can fall forwards on her and if I've got a longer rein I can just sit back a little bit more. Um, but as you can see, if you've seen our journey, her canter is getting so much better. She used to come right the way up in her canter and really hollow and just wouldn't stride out and wouldn't use herself properly. But we have been working on this so much and it is really, really improving. So as I said, today is going to be a lot of canter work, but this is literally just our first little warm up. And then before she got too tired, I ran through the test for the first time, bringing her down the centre line and then we track right. And as you can see, she's a little bit like, get off me mum, I know what I'm doing. Um, and with Snip, it's a lot of trying to slow her down in the dressage because when you're doing quite a lot of movement, she does try and rush. And then it's a 20 metre at B. Um, we've really been working on trying to work out exactly where our 20 metre line is. Um, <laughs> me and my trainer spent a lot of time doing that the other day and our 10 metres as well. And then you come up and then back 
down the centre line and I've got to proceed to walk before X um, because this is where I actually do two 10 metre circles, tracking left, getting to X and then tracking right. Well, I'm kind of blocked that first one for you guys. Um, these have been proving very difficult because we're still working a lot on Snippy's bend and walk is definitely her worst gait. Um, doing a walk and trot test is actually, I think, harder than doing a prelim at this point because her walk is definitely her worst um, gait completely. Like she likes to fall through that left shoulder as you saw um, and she doesn't, she kind of just goes into sloth mode when she's in walk. So not too sure how our um, free walk on a long grain is going to go especially as it's double points but we will see um, and then back down into trot before C track left and then we do the same on the other end basically we're going to do a 20 meter at E this is um, her worst rein I think her left rein for her bend she doesn't like to bend round her ribs round um, so I have to really encourage her and I actually use a lot of outside rein to keep her in um, on this rein as well Snippy did some really nice canter work to finish and then I walked her off for quite a while. As you can see, this is Snip when she's asleep after she's been ridden, bless her. She just makes me laugh and how her little forelock parts every single time. Um, but yeah, she was really, really good today. We got some really nice work out of her. I was really happy with that test to say we've only, you know, we've not really ridden it too much. Um, and I jump off and undo everything and they give her lots of kisses for being such a good girl. Right, right, 
So we've just run through a test and done a little bit of work on her canter and it went really well. Um, we were just saying if she goes half as well tomorrow, we'd be really, really pleased with her, won't we? Um, but yeah, just give me that confidence that I know my test and that we can ride it well. Just need to watch out for them corners, don't we? And those 10 metre circles are never going to be perfect, but they were a lot better than they were last week. So yeah, really happy with her. And now I've just got to drag her out and I'm going to wash her off anyway from being ridden, but I'm also going to give her tail and her legs a proper clean. I'm not going to bath all of her. She's chestnut. Um, <laughs> she's quite sparkly at the minute, aren't you? You're quite clean at the minute, so she doesn't need a full bath and it's going to chuck you down later, so I don't really think there's much point in me giving her a full bath. But yeah, that's the next part. So I towel dried Snip off and then turned her out in her waterproof um, fly sheet or tweeted sheet, whatever this one's actually classed as. Um, and then she went out and had a drink and then she knows that my mum always has sugar cubes. So she came to me for a treat and was like, mm, yeah, that's okay, but uh, grandma's got sugar cubes. <laughs> so she pestered for those. So guys, I've popped home for a little bit because basically I had to come back to check Teddy Bear because he went in for his castration on Friday, um, which was only two days ago. So we've got to check him. Yes, haven't we? Yes. Um, he's had his coat on while I was gone, but I've taken it off. He seems to be doing absolutely fine, but it's just keeping an eye on him um, and making sure that he's not licking anything and not swollen um, and to be fair the weather just turned horrendous so I'm gonna get some lunch and do some work and then I'm actually heading back to the farm um, <laughs> to bring Snip up, platter up, sort a tail out and then sort the box out as well. So guys we are back at the yard now I've brought Snip back up looking a little bit dirty because it's um, been raining and thunderstorming which is fantastic um, but we've also brought Charlie up to keep her company <laughs> so that she um, stays quiet while we plait up and everything. So we're going to give her a bit of a groom, uh, plait her up, trim her mane possibly, her feathers and sort her tail out. So you look all nice and presentable for tomorrow, Snipperdoodle. Now I can't actually remember the last time I plaited up. I think 
it's been like 10 years like I literally was about 16 last time I plastered a horse up um a because I used to ride traditionals and we didn't have to plait them up um and B because I actually hate it so I started by separating her mane into sections and then going through and actually doing them all as individual plaits first um, mum is going to show me how to sew um, my plaits in so that they stay in overnight I've never sewn plaits before I don't think I think I like literally learned in pony club when I was like 12 um, but I haven't really done it since and at 26 you know you forget a few things um, so mum's going to give me a bit of a tutorial on how she sews them in. We find, we did find some thread that had a 25p sticker on it. So I think we've owned that thread for about 10 years as well. Um, but Snip was so well behaved to put up. She literally just stood and ate and was such a good girl. Uh, so I finally finished all of the plaits, which seemed to take forever. I forgot how long plaiting actually takes as well. Do we roll it up and then thread it, or do you thread it and then so roll it up? So mum gave me a masterclass by first threading the end of the plait, and then folding the plait in half, threading it together, and then basically just slowly pulling it into the base, um, which is a lot harder than it looks. Actually, mum made it look quite easy, um, but then I had a go, and they were looking okay they weren't very golf ball-y i was under close supervision from sharon um on how to do it mom is definitely a perfectionist um which definitely helps when i really am not very good at things um so i did so much and i was quite proud of my plaits to be honest to say i've not done them in years um but i did quite quickly lose interest and decided that i can french plait mum can't so that i would do her forelock while mum did the second half of her mane and then i left mum to finish off her mane while i gave her legs a little bit of a trim yes i am cutting her little tiny feathers with scissors because i don't actually know where my small clippers are um but they actually turned out okay and because she has so little feather it didn't really make a difference but it's very important just that she was nice and tidy and looking clean mum actually chopped a bit of her tail off so i <laughs> finished that because turns out mum can plait but she can't cut in a straight line ah look how cute she looks so that is snip all plaited up for the very first time don't you look so you look like you've got a tiny neck now but there we go that's it have a treat but yeah so now she's done she's had her legs trimmed and a tail cut and it's just the box to get ready so guys i've just been and um filled the box up so we've actually got some fuel to get there in the morning um i was gonna go through my checklist and make sure i'd got everything in the box but i'll be honest with you might just do in the morning <laughs> it's already getting on a bit and i'm really tired um i am gonna put my spare grooming kit which has got a few bits and bobs in it um this is one i bought specifically for the box which is why it's orange it's just got like baby wipes and um spare brushes and things in it so i'm just gonna pop this in i brought betsy round to the yard so then it's a bit easier in the morning i think i'm just gonna get here a little bit early in the morning i'm not right i'm not riding until half nine um I know it is early but it's not early really because we're not going far um, I'm really tired good morning guys so if you hadn't guessed by the hair it is now competition day um, it's half seven which to be fair in terms of competitions isn't a bad time to be fetching and sniffing um, so I've got the box ready um, I think at the end I'll just show you what I didn't take on so it is because I've just not had time to actually film putting it in this morning. Um, we had a bit of stress trying to find bridal numbers that I knew I had somewhere and they were hidden under some boots. So we have found them. Um, she looks like she's kept her plaits in, but I'm fetching her up now just, just in case. We don't need to leave for half an hour, but she's going to need a groom and making it all sparkly. So go and get snippers. I've got my whites on under here. Um, and yeah, look a little bit dirty. We might need to clean those leggies off, I think. Right, we? Can I go do some dressage, my babe? Yeah. 
So fast forward to the warm up because I just had so much going on, I didn't have time to film and get Snip ready and get her there. Um, so we were actually really lucky, we were the first ones on so we got a warm up pretty much entirely to ourselves for the first half and I was so proud of Snip, she warmed up beautifully, neither of us were tense, um, she's never been in this arena. She's only ever been in the one across the other way. We are at Epworth Equestrian. Um, and yeah, I was really, really proud of her. I actually had too much time to warm up, um, but I would sooner have had too much time on our first competition because we could have got there and she could have been extremely tense and it could have taken me half an hour to get her to ni be nice and calm. But actually, she was lovely. Um, so we finished our warm up and then it was time for us to go in and ride our very first dressage test for a competition. I have to say, when I entered this arena, I tensed up completely um mum said she didn't think i breathed for the entire thing and we had to work out i haven't actually done a dressage test since i was 16 so it has been 10 years um but i was so proud of snip despite the fact that i had tensed up which meant that she tensed up slightly and wasn't going quite as softly or accepting the bit as much as she did in our training yesterday she still wrote a beautiful test and I had to remember it all, which is a huge bonus. Are you filming me? Maybe. No vibes. <laughs> so guys, that is our first competition done. I am so proud of Snip. Um, the warm up, she was so well behaved, she was so relaxed. All I wanted to achieve today was just getting her out 
and is both enjoying it and I think we did I tend to stop immediately when I went and actually got in the arena in front of the judge um, I don't think I actually breathed during the entire thing so it certainly wasn't our best test so we rode it a lot better yesterday um, but we got some really lovely comments um, the judge said she was a really smart horse and to keep going and you know what I think practice makes perfect for our first ever one and to say it's taken us nine months um, to get her from not being ridden at all to this is just it was so nice to stick the white breeches back on and to actually go out and compete snip for the very first time so thank you all for your support and a massive thank you to Elle and Mum for coming with me um, and yeah I'm just really happy I wasn't stressed and that I actually felt pretty confident today uh, which is a major thing for me at competitions but yeah I think for our very first competition she behaved impeccably um, we both enjoyed it and yeah we'll definitely be going out to some more dressage soon um, I'm going to start her on a prelim test because I actually think a canter test she'll do a little bit better in because um, she just relaxes more when you're cantering rather than walking and trotting but yeah that's what we've got coming up soon and thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next week bye guys